Ahem. This is Joe Pichu <laughs> playing yet again uh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, insert subtitle here for the Commodore Virtual System X32. <laughs> and uh, I still have a lot of things to say about stuff in the world. So, but. Right now, we're we have just <laughs> yeah, common let's play shit. You know, I've been thinking about let's play as like a a format of entertainment lately. Like, why do we? This is so easy for everybody. I think that's why a lot of people do it. Um, and like big viral channels that do like video game skits I always have like this on the side. Sometimes I've noticed too. Like, I don't know. I could see, like... You know what? What's his name? Uh, P Peanut Butter Gamer. He also... He has a video game, like, discussion channel, but he never really did Let's Plays. But he has a separate channel where he does Let's Plays, PBG Plays. I haven't watched anything of that yet, but, um... I think, uh, Saber Spork... He has a video game channel, too. I don't know if he does Let's Plays, but... Or if he does Saber Spark plays or whatever the fuck. Andre the Black Nerd has something like that too. I watch a little bit of his uh, Paper Mario Origami King. He, he. Everybody else is so weird. They don't talk about anything. They just have the game on and they're like, wow, today we're going to go to the castle where we must be de de defeat the dragon. Well, we defeated the dragon. See you guys next episode. It's like, you didn't talk about anything. And a lot of boomers, or I guess, I hate the word now, but like, the generation older than the millennials, which I am in right now. The, the people born in like, what, 70s, 80s? They're, they're not quite boomers, but the, the whoever gener the generation is 10 years after me, like the 40 year olds. They're all like, back in my day, we used to play video games, not watch people play them. It's like, well, I don't know how this happened either, man, but it's fun. And it's not about watching someone play the game. It's watching someone you think is funny or entertaining play something. Or you, I mean, you, if you like that person, you probably do, you probably watch whatever the fuck they're doing. So that's my stance on Let's Plays. Also... In terms of just me, like, I guess I still, like, being inter- I, I- there's still a little bit of an entertainer in me. Like, I got shit to sh I got shit to say. And I- I have a platform and ability to do it, so I'm going to. Like, yeah, I could leave comments on videos forever. And not be able to talk to anybody. <laughs> or I could do this. And have fun with it. You know, I, I could still be playing games that I haven't played before. And going blind. Um, but anyway, yeah, I've been thinking about that lately. Uh, the algorithm is still shit. I, I don't really care about that anymore. Um, anyway, I've been thinking about Pokemon. Uh, cause I, I don't think I ever addressed this, but I put out a, what the hell is that? It sounded like a cartoon sound effect. <laughs> um, Prez became the student body president. I, would I, I put out the Pokemon Legends video. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna see how many views it has. Cause I, you think any video with Pokemon Legends in the, in the title would get a lot of views. Just because it's like the most current thing. I put it out in a fairly timely manner. I put it out. The game came out in January. I put the video out in mid to late February. It has 21 views. Which means. But I think that uh, I blame the algorithm. Because they kind of. Like a lot of my quote unquote content. Isn't kid or child friendly. So I always. When you, when you upload a video. It asks you is your video. 
child friendly <laughs> i always hit no because it's not also it's just not but i know that they on purpose they hide any video content that marks no they make it like hard for the algorithm to track it and like put it out in recommended or on like someone's homepage or whatever or make it even if you search for the exact thing it'll come up low in a video search because it's marked not for kids like what the fuck ever like that is hard um there's not anything I can do about that, but um, I put out that video, so I have my thoughts on Pokemon Legends. I don't think it's the hottest shit. It's just a test. It's pretty much an experiment. And now we got Pokemon Scarlet and Violet looking like that. It's like, well, okay, but is anything from Legends gonna carry over into this, other than like the the scale of the game? Like, are any of the Pokemon gonna come back? I don't like. The Agile style and Strong style, but is is that going to come back or any reference to that or anything? We don't know yet. And I hope... A lot of the things I said, I hope don't make it in... I hope don't make it in, <laughs> in the Legends review. But I, in general, I was getting Pokemon burnout after that video. Like, just talking about the state of Pokemon, where it's going, why isn't it the way it used to be, blah blah blah. Why is it Pokemon the way it used to be? And the thing is, I don't think Pokemon was ever, like, max potential Pokemon. Like, there, there's games that I think are good, but I don't think there was ever a time where I was like, this, every Pokemon game has to be like this from now on after that. They keep trying something different every time, and in like, none of the- there's just no consistency, because that's not what they want to do. They don't want to make the- They don't want to make the best Pokemon game, and then try to do better than that the next time, which would actually, like, improve its quality a lot. They just want to be the same formula every single time and change up a little bit of things here and there. It's like- I've never seen this series evolve, uh, pun intended, since Pokemon Coliseum, and I already said that in the video. Like, it's a, it's a, it has what we, it had what we knew how Pokemon works as a game, but the narrative was different enough. Like, okay. In the main games, you are a kid who's just trying to collect badges to be the champion. And there's Pokemon in it. In Pokemon Coliseum, okay, you're a, a you're like a Mad Max thief who stole a gadget that steals Pokemon, and you're trying to steal it from steal it back. <laughs> you're trying to help people stolen Pokemon and steal it back for them. And trying to fight an evil corporation who wants to cap who wants to make Shadow Pokemon like. The, the whole tone of that is different from the main games. Like, I miss that. Like, we're gonna... Not, maybe not, like, Shadow Pokemon, but we're gonna try something like that again. That's what I want to see. Like, change the context of why you're collecting Pokemon in this world. You're collecting Pokemon in main games because you're... Uh... Because you're just trying to become the best that ever was. Yeah, I get it. But in Coliseum, you're collecting Pokemon to steal them back from Team Snagum. And you're not, like, getting badges or anything. You're just... You're trying to take down the corporation. Like, or you're trying to take down the, the gang. The team or whatever. Um. Yeah, I, I miss that vibe. Like, that, there's that kind of ambition that I wish was in, like, modern Pokemon. Like, I don't know. They can... What you do with that is you make the badge collecting thing like a side quest and you make something else the main quest and the more interesting thing you know uh do i sit at my desk what's going on here uh go around the classroom and listen on everyone's conversations <laughs> find out what they're talking about i need you to get me some talking points now go why can't you do that yourself me i can't do that i'm my pride you know you know how politicians ask other people to um talk to them for them yeah Luna! What? You're trying to trick me into giving confidential information, aren't you? 
Gee, settle down, Sparky. Oh, I guess I gotta talk to everybody. Uh, whoops. Oh, help. Did I do him yet? Oh, I was in the middle of his quest, but I... I don't know what happened. Uh, Pokemon, yeah, so... <sighs> it, it, I already knew, it just seems like that's what they want to do. Just like, oh, well, this is a new region where you get badges. This is a new region where you get badges. It's just... It's, it's just disappointing. Where is the noise wave? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I don't want to... I don't, I don't really want to go in there. I just want to advance to the next thing. Uh, so, yeah. Pokemon Legends seemed like it was going to be a step in the right direction, but it was just a test. So, I don't feel like... I, I feel like I wasted time playing that game. <laughs> like, I can't transfer my mons, my Pokemon from other games into that one. You can't, I don't think you're going to be able to take anything out of that. It's just, it's just stuck in itself. Like, I, that's not what Pokemon is good with, about, you know? And so, at the same time I started that game, Legend Arceus, I, I say Arceus, Arceus, whatever. At the same time, I started Pokemon Auras again. And I played that through that entire game. I raised more Pokemon that I don't think I'm going to take out this time. I think that... I think the mechanics wise, if you make a team in that game, it's pretty contained enough. Like you have the mega Pokemon, you have the good items in that game, you have the choice scarf, everything you need. The special the special physical split is there. Like the egg moves, everything the the egg moves, the um hidden abilities, everything is accessible in RS. You don't need to do any stupid trading uh you know, like, I think that game is contained enough that you could just start a save file and have a team ready to go, like, when you're done. The, the, the tools you have to craft a team, like the Moo Tutor and, like, the Pokemon Radar so you can find hidden abilities and egg moves on Pokemon. And the ways to get the IVs on Pokemon is still good. Uh, why are the Noise Wizards fighting? So yeah, I had a good experience again playing that game. Um, I, I've talked with some people about the National Dex thing. I, I feel like I'm repeating information, but like, they were saying like, Oh, you know what? I hope they don't do the National Dex ever again. Just have a game that has like 250 or so Pokemon and that's it. That's all you need. It's like, well, I don't want a limited experience for every new Pokemon game, that feels bad. Like, um, some moves won't return, some Pokemon won't return, some mechanics won't return. Like, what's the point anymore? It's not building on itself. <sighs> Just, I don't understand why people want something simple from an already simple... They want something simplified from an already simple game. Like, I don't understand those people. Uh, that guy's almost dead. Ah, gotcha. So, yeah, and... I I still don't want Sword and Shield. Like, if I bought Sword and Shield now, that would feel like a waste of time. <laughs> like, who knows if Sword and Shield is going to connect to Scarlet and Violet? Like, I don't think it will. Like, if Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon don't really connect with... Uh, Sword and Shield, what makes anyone think that Sword and Shield is going to connect with Scarlet and Violet? Like, <sighs> So, and then on top of that, I was playing Pokemon Masters. And I was getting really sick of the cycle of, oh, there's a new character about to drop. You you spend your gems on the character to, to pull for the character. You don't get it a few times, and by the time you do get it, they roll out a new one who's better than that one. It's like... Uh, and then I uninstalled again, and I was like, this sucks. All you do is hit a wall. It's a gotcha. Uh, it takes too long to upgrade things. It's just, I hate it. And that got me thinking about 
mobile games. Um, I have to go to Spyco Mall now. It got me thinking about mobile games and gotchas again. Cause I don't think there. I cause I watched. Uh, I watched like one episode <laughs> of Mike and Ryan's game podcast. Like Mike Matei and the Ryan guy. Nobody liked when he first was in a few videos, <laughs> which is kind of sad. But um, uh, they were talking about like. The stigma there is with mobile games and how everybody hates them all because they associate they, uh, they associate all mobile games with gotchas, which is fair. Um, I do hate gotchas more than I hate mobile games. Um, people, some games, some mobile games incorporate that gotcha where they don't fucking need to. Like the Mario Kart Tour one, for example, it's a racing game. It shouldn't matter who you are, but they're making a gotcha out of, like, the costume characters. Like, oh, it's, I don't know, Dr. Rosalina versus Pink Gold Peach in Lime Green Toadette. Like, who the fuck cares about this part? This is the shit where they're really trying to see if people will spend money on when they don't, like, need to. And they're just seeing who's going to get addicted to spending money on their app. But, like, they really want the gacha in... They really want the Genshin Impact numbers, which are only there because people have no self-control. Like, they're just, it's not, there's no game here. They just want you to pump money into it. Like, I already know that part. But, um, uh, I used to play Rayman Adventures. That was an okay mobile game. There was, there wasn't really a gotcha mechanic. It was just, well, there's... There's things you can buy with the points you get in the game, which are sometimes characters. Um, but I was like, really? They're trying to slip this shit into a platformer? <laughs> um, wait, what? Oh, I, he's not fighting me, so I don't have to. <laughs> I didn't have to, but I guess I, I do now. Um... But they put in like weird grindy stuff with the pets or the uh, the little creatures thing from what's it called? Uh, Rayman Legends, where there was like these little pets you could raise. Not really, but it just gave you lums every day, and you spent that on like the characters to unlock in the game. But then I was playing the mobile game version of that, and I was like, I have. Rayman Legends on my Switch. I don't need the, the watered-down version. Like, I can just play that. <laughs> it's like, who is this for? As a mobile game. But, um... I was remembering, like... Better original... Actually, before I say that, I was playing Sonic Dash for a little bit. And that has a gotcha thing. Kind of. There's a, there's characters for you to unlock. And then there's this, uh, a wheel you have to spin... And if so you, you you spin the wheel to see if you get that character, but all the characters do the same thing. And if you get a new character, you have to you have to upgrade them all with the the rings. They all have the same like point value. Like, what's the point? <laughs> or they all have the same like stats to upgrade. So, so what is the point other than your the preference of the character you're playing as? And they have like money grubby grabby shit in there too. Like, oh, um, you can spend five dollars or ten dollars or fifty dollars to get a bunch of red rings to buy characters. It's like, well, okay, you can spend fifty dollars buy everybody, and then what? You have everybody? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Hello, unlocker. Um, I didn't even know this shit was up here. Well, how do I get back down? Okay, that's like some Mario 64 shit right there. Where you stand in the, the bridge, it goes... Rrr, rrr. Yeah, I know. Uh, so what else? Finders anywhere... Such a... Where else is there to go? But uh, I've been playing... I played uh, this game called Green the Planet. It's a little... Like, 
idle kind of game where you shoot meteors and it's pixel art and it looks nice and there's no you might have to watch an ad or two if you want like some things handed to you but there's no money to spend in it that's a good mobile game it's it's a free game like that's the whole prospect with mobile games is that a lot of them are free you don't have to spend money on them at all um and the option is there to see if you would. <laughs> like, I, I already seen this broken down in the the Swedish guy's video. Bjork Torbjorn or Kendrick Torbjorn. Or, he, he talks about, like, never... He talks about having um, grind and pay as options and not, like, mandatory things. Because if you if you make the grind mandatory, it'll make the pay to skip all that more interesting, or it'll make it'll make the the pay option more appealing. Create a grind so that the pay is more appealing, and they might want to buckle down and spend money. I don't know what's about to happen here. Like it's a legit trick. This the business is a trick. <laughs> uh, they're not giving you a product that you can enjoy. Like, they're giving you a bait to see if you'll spend money. Uh, what is this one? Libra. Non-dimming, non-elemental cards for store HP. Fire and aqua elemental attacks 10%. Uh, sure. I'll just take it just to get something different going. And I'm playing another one called, uh, what's it called? Enter the Tomb, or Tomb of the Mask. And it's a, it's like a, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's a maze runner. Not like, like, not, not like the Temple Run game, but like, it's a top-down maze game where you slide to change direction and stuff. Um... Some games are some mobile games are good about themselves, and they can let you just pay some amount to remove all ads or mid roll ads. Um, that I'm okay with. Like I liked that I could buy Fruit Ninja, a skill based game where it's just like a time waster, you know, where you you can spend a little money to remove all the ads, and so you can not be interrupted. Like that's that's a thing you put money down for, like to for con. Not like convenience, but like for access, you know? I would rather pay $5 for a mobile game if I never had to see any like gotcha crap or um, ad rolls or whatever. I love video games, but developers have been focusing too much on graphics and sound. And therefore overlooking what really makes a game fun. It's so upsetting. I agree. And, uh, it's funny you say that because gotcha mechanics, uh, when you, uh, when you go pool something for a unit or uh, whatever, they make it really flashy and addicting so that you do and use a lot of, like, loud sounds. Like, fucking dangling keys in your face to see, to get you addicted on pulling things. To make you feel good about, oh, I just had more fun doing it because it looks so fun getting them all. Like, uh, like, no. <laughs> Where is the guys? Hey, I found the guy. <laughs> he was like, he had to go inside one of these little facilities here. But, um, yeah, I think good mobile games are the ones that you can just buy to have access to to them and not be like gated off from like pay to win mechanics and uh like gotcha crap and a lot of them are technically like skill based maybe kind of like uh i was talking about fruit ninja an example i bought a long time ago fruit ninja classic and i could play that game without any of the ads there's no like 
in-game currency mechanic where you have to spend money to uh to earn stuff it's just you have three modes you play them you while you're on the shitter or you're on the toilet or whatever while you're on the plane or i don't know it doesn't like while you're waiting for something in the office or i don't know that's about as much time like that's like the places you really play mobile games on to be honest but um They were really trying to put these, like, full-fledged games with these mechanics on the people. Like, this is not what I imagined them to be. But long, a while back, uh, they made Fruit Ninja 2. Or, it's like this weird version of Fruit Ninja where you can't just buy access to it. You can't just buy... Like, the, 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 usually there's a free version and then the paid one without the ads. There's no paid version without the ads this time. In this one, they actually are trying to put those, uh, those, like, those mechanics I've been talking about. Like, the, the gotcha, the, the in-game currency, like, all this other shit that you don't need in fucking Fruit Ninja. It's a game where you slice fruits. Does it really need all this crap? And, you know how, if you've ever played Fruit Ninja, <laughs> uh, this you can unlock blades that do different effects. I don't know how long this version has been out, but none of the extra blades have a, different effects. Like they have a rarity. There's common, rare, and uncommon. They don't even have any difference between them, other than how they look. They used to have actual effects, and now they don't. Or they're, they're, they all say coming soon, but the game has been out for like two years now. <laughs> like why is it taking so long? And like, how do they not just carry over the effects from the previous game? Like, what are they? What are they doing? Also, I transformed. I don't know what I am. I'm Libra Face. Oh, my God! It turns out you're supposed to go through the dentist like digital room, so you can go over here into the candy shop. Uh, hopefully, somebody is here, cause like, goddamn. Anyway, yeah. The games that don't really involve skill, like a lot of the gacha games, are the ones that have the most, like, grind and, like, crap involved in it. Like, stuff like, uh, I heard Skyrim Blades is kind of bad about that. Or, um, oh yeah, it's just... Uh, just invest in a bunch of time saver stuff. You know, Ubisoft and their time savers. Like, n never mind the fact that we made the game grindy on purpose and take a long time to fucking get anything. Just to spend a little bit of money to make that easier. It's like, well... We're talking about game design here. Like, the whole point of the grind is not so that you have a game to play. It's so that they trick you into spending money when you when they, they make the waiting part like oh yeah i'll just wait it out i'll just I'll wait for my salmon to come back i don't need to spend money like they don't care about you they're waiting for the impatient people to spend money it's like dude i don't yeah i had the, my final straw with pokemon masters like i said earlier but um there was a like a flygon version of that uh that some guy from Sword and Shield, and there was an Altaria version of some character, and there was a Latias version of May, and it was, I was trying to beat one of their like design missions for each other. That's just, and I I just I was I buffed everything I could. I had all the right like things in place, and I I just couldn't win. Like it was, it was reducing my damage on purpose. I'm gonna die again. It was reducing, like, all my offensive stuff. Like, making me take more damage. It, like, healing was impossible. Just... It was designed... The the mission was designed to exhaust you. And there was nothing you can do about it. Damn it, I, I can't move. Oh my god. Where are my heals, man?
Ah, oh, I moved into that. Good thing I saved, like, right before. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I had the final straw. Because I, I was looking at the tips. It's like, okay, here's what you can do. Use Latias and May to buff your psychic types for the period of time. It's like, I... I have that, and it's like, if you try to do the mission without that thing, they really are just saying, oh yeah, just, here's your tip, just use the thing we've designed to beat this mission. And I'm like, okay, I have it, why can't I win? It's just, oh, this just, this game sucks. It's like, it's not enough to have the thing, you have to fully upgrade it over the course of, like, months. Of collecting the daily items, collecting the... The materials that need, you need, collecting this, collecting that, it's like... By the time you fucking finish upgrading it, the, the thing is obsolete. Like, what the fuck? I was... There I was like, I'm done. I I can't do this anymore. I uninstalled it the first time when I, when I saw this was happening again. And I started replaying it because I need something to do at work. When I'm on break. Oh my god. Ugh. This guy is kind of hard. I don't know what happened, but I started taking more damage. I ran into two, like, EX bosses just trying to find stuff, and I died from them. And that was really annoying. Move, goddammit. Where are my heals? <laughs> I'm gonna drop the block. What? He didn't home in. Oh, my God. Uh, something's happening here. I got, like, health upgrades and stuff. And I'm like, man... <sighs> yeah, so I'm done. I'm done with, like, gotchas. I I'm only gonna play mobile games that... That don't... Maybe that I have, like, an ad or two you have to skip. But I'm not playing gotchas anymore. <laughs> I can't stand this shit anymore. So, yeah, all that stemmed from Pokemon somehow i'm getting fucking hungry as hell i sat here for like an extra hour just trying to find where i needed to go all right this is going a lot better ah! god damn it uh i'm gonna get myself some i've been doing pretty good about ordering out i i kind of have to like not do that <laughs> Because I'm trying to power save money for all the move-in fees I'm going to have to do. Like the deposit, the... I have to change my insurance. Not insurance. Well, I have to change my, uh... Renner's insurance again. And get ready for paying bills by myself. Uh, so that's going to be cool. Alright, I completed my assignment. Wonderful. Please tell this uh, tell the police. We have something to tell you in person. Understood. Okay. Now you're gonna make me go all the way out there to the police zone. <sighs> I think I'm, I'm done. I'm done playing Mega Man for today. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, that was an ordeal.